Hi everyone, so basically today I just want to talk about the model in my final assignment to find the uh, prediction of the sale price variable. So basically this is a really big data and it has 2,919 observations and 81 variables. So the cleaning process of this um, data is really important. And as we can see, I divided the variable the, the data into two parts one is called testing and one is called training so basically we just uh, find a model in and test their accuracy in training data sets and fit that model in the testing data set to uh, observe the final prediction of the sale price and as we can see i first attach all these uh, data sets so you won't have to type dollar sign every time you have to you want to call them so you basically just type their uh, variable name in the console and they just pop out and I took a look at the uh, categorical variable um, but uh, most of them only has three to four classes so I decided to use all numeric uh, data to form a new data and uh, first uh, as we can see I run a correlation test uh, and I fit some correlation uh, plot and uh, I omit all these uh, variables with low cor uh, correlation with the sales price variable and I use, um, use uh, the forward stepwise procedure to uh, formulate my model. As we can see, the, the first model, um, I have 13 uh, variables and they are all have a really high correlation and appears to be linear uh, with the sale price variable and the first uh, try I use is uh, just to predict function in the in the data so uh, the first one didn't went well and I scored 0 0.330989 on the Kygo and uh, so that's not pretty good. So I, uh, so I try to use a different ma machine learning approach to improve my uh, performance of the model. So uh, in this assignment, I find that uh, although we have the same model for like every prediction, but using different machine learning approach can really affect the accuracy of the model and the performance of the model. So the second uh, machine learning method I use is called bagging, as we can see here, and it's Basically, the uh, the begging is basically just um we we can we will also call them the bootstrapped. So um it's relatively simple like to increase the power of the predictive statistical model by taking multiple random samples from the training dataset and using each of these training datasets to construct a separate model and separate prediction for the dataset. So this one, I think, uh, improved my uh, Kaggle score. I think by uh, improved them to zero point two zero zero four six, which which is pretty good, but uh, it's not enough. I think so. I use another approach. It's called a uh, k-fold uh, cross validation, and in, in my case, I use a uh, k equal to ten, so it's a ten-fold cross uh, validation. So um, the process is just um, just like in in the tenfold cross validation, the original sample is randomly uh, like divided into ten equal sized sub samples, and we uh, we use the nine sub samples to as a training data set and fit that model in the like the the the, the last one as the testing data set, and this one is not easy to coding because there's a really complicated for loop as we can see here a really complicated for loop inside but the result is pretty pretty good and uh, as we can see I this is my best entry using the tenfold um, cross validation uh, I, I score 0 0.18462 on my category uh, score so that's pretty good so um basically this assignment to taught me that um although we have the same model like for for the prediction 
and uh, but like using different machine learning approach can really affect the performance of the model. So uh, I think I will just um, develop more about the machine learning process such as um, random forest uh, uh, cross validation and so on to improve my like uh, my model in the future. Yeah, that's all. Thank you.